Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Daryl. In this two-part series we are going to look at receiving weather images from the satellite Meteor M2. Have you ever wanted to download weather satellite images? Well, if you have today, you are in luck because we got a really easy, quick way to uh, get started with it. Um, so if you've ever looked into this before, it requires uh, uh, not a lot of equipment. You just get one of these little guys here. This is a little uh, $30 USB dongle. Uh, link in the description below. You can pick these up uh, at a number of different places. Um, quick and easy to get installed. Uh, the, you know, you literally just plug it in, wire up the antenna, and away you go. Um, but it requires about four or five programs simultaneously working together that are actually, uh, um, you know, they're they're quite difficult to get configured. Uh, um, if you're if you're technical, technical technically savvy, um, you should be able to do it, but uh, four or five programs that all have to work together to receive and decode the image, uh, it can be quite finicky at times. Um, but you're in luck because today we actually, uh, I've come across, there's a brand, new, uh, a brand new release out that somebody has compiled together into one zip file. So all the programs, one zip file, pre-configured, all you have to do is install it directly to your C drive, um, not into any subdirectories, just the C drive, and it's pre-configured to work out of your C drive. And uh, yeah, all you have to do is pre-configure your location and basically it's, it's ready to go. Um, so we're going to go through that installation process. As you can see, this video is actually pretty short. It literally takes this much time to install. No time at all. Real time. Um, so let's get started. We are running through the installation of the Meteor GIS software that will receive the images from the Meteor M2 satellite. Uh, super easy. This is all compiled into one zip file, uh, like I was saying before. So quick download. So open that guy up. Um, open. It's just a regular old zip file. You don't need any, you know, 7up seven, seven zip or whatever. Nothing like that. Uh, we're going to extract this guy to... Uh, we're going to make a folder. We want it directly on the C drive here. So we're going to go C drive right there. Extract. Doesn't take but more than a minute. And we got our Meteor folder. So now this Meteor folder, everything is done. It's all uh, it's all in here, ready to go. Um, now you can configure it to, to your own liking, of course. Uh, but all you have to do is fire up Orbitron here. If you're on a Windows box like me, it may give you an issue. Oh, see, it made sure to update the Kepler's. So it's all up to date. Uh, this follows the satellite. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your location. So I'm not in Aberdeen. I am just outside of Vancouver. So oh, I got my caps lock on there. Vancouver, choose. And you're pretty much done configuring this now. Um, this is all ready to go. You want to go to the radio and rotator tab and click SDR sharp. And that will launch the SDR sharp. If you have any messages about um, uh, you know, uh, unrecognized software. I mean, obviously, click allow on those if you want it to all work. Um, and then this should, uh, as soon as the meteor gets meteor satellite gets into range, um, as soon as it is approximately, let's take a look here, uh, ten degrees of elevation. So when it's ten degrees of elevation, it'll automatically trigger to start recording, and uh, you will see beautiful images coming out the other side. Um, so the installation is really that easy super easy and uh, once you get once you get that installed you're just basically playing the waiting game until it uh till the satellite comes around um so i will show you in the next video exactly what that's going to look like once the satellite does come into range and uh what we're what you're going to see on the screen and uh, what you should should look for uh and uh go over all that kind of stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching part one of receiving an image from Meteor M2. Um, you are not going to want to miss the uh, part two where we actually are receiving the image. Uh, so this, this one we covered all the installation of the software. Like I said, it only took five minutes. Unzip the file, configure your location, and uh, get the two programs opened up and waiting for the image, or waiting for the satellite to pass. So now we are gonna play the waiting game. We wait for a satellite pass, and uh, in part two, we are gonna go over what to expect once that satellite is passing over. So thank you so much for watching. 
please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, leave a comment below. How did, how did it go for you? Did the installation go as smooth? Was there extra steps? Uh, this is also obviously on a Windows-based computer. Um, I don't have experience with uh, um, installing it on anything else, but if you uh, have experience, let us know in the comments below, and we'll uh, uh, see if we can't help you out. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.